Here's a really fun stencil and reverse stencil technique. Come on in and let me show you. Hello everybody, it's Julia Laird with Senior Susie Stamps and today I wanted to show you a really interesting technique that I discovered in this Take 10 magazine and it's the Autumn uh, 2008 which is September, October and November and it is an interesting stencil uh, article in that magazine called Stencil Me In. Now this is some cards that were made by Debbie Weller from Kellisville, Montana and I just thought her techniques were very very interesting and I wanted to see if I couldn't um, learn uh, that technique that she's doing with her stencils so here's the rest of them let me get this put away now this is kind of a messy process and for me you know I get ink all over but if you saw my little sneak peek yesterday you saw ink all over my hands I have I'm here to tell you that blue dawn is magic when it comes to taking ink off your fingers yay I need to know that now I'm going to do some work today on top of my uh, Teflon mat and hope that I don't make too big of a mess so I've got some 80 pound smooth cardstock cut uh, in half sheets here where well, that's what we're going to use and I have some stencils this one is by all in create it's number 115 uh, and that's what it looks like and then I have this all over roses pattern from hot off the press paper wishes so those are the stencils that we're going to use now before we get started I want to show you the cards that I made up off of yesterday's sneak peek um, and if you didn't see it uh, I'll put a link to it but this is um, the stencil and reverse papers here I just thought these turned out to be really pretty cards and I thought you all might like to see um, the results of the cards that I made with this type of um, art medium now that is some lace from 49 in market that I had some leftovers and then this is the final one so let's get started I want to show you this the reason I did this in two different days is because you really have to let the paper dry up before you can work with it and I didn't want to make this video really long and drawn out I have some uh, ink that I've mixed up here using my Ken Oliver color burst and let me see if I can remember the colors that I used. It was lime green, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and burnt umber. And I see a cat here. <laughs> Imagine that. Now, the last one we're going to mix up today is gamboge. And I'll show you how I do it. I have these little uh, squirty spray bottles that I got from Amazon in a group of, I don't know, 25. Let's just say 25. There may have been 20. There may have been 15. I don't know. You have to open this kind of carefully because, as you saw yesterday, it just gets kind of all over. And then I just put the tip in here and do some squirts. And if it doesn't come out in squirts, you just kind of have to tap it a little bit and work it out okay so I, I hope you can see what little tiny bit of um, ink powder there is in that and then cap it back and I'm going to add some water and I'm only going to add just a little bit at a time um, these are not very big bottles anyway which is good because 
some of this is just going to be wasted. So I'm not familiar with this color, and it may be really, really bright. I just don't know. We'll find out <laughs> in just a minute. Okay, now I'm going to do this in two steps. One is through the stencil, and one is picking the ink up off the stencil. And the first step that I'm going to do is through the stencil. And I'm using this um, Teflon mat instead of my spatter box because I, I need to get kind of down close to it sometimes. Um, and I wasn't sure whether you all would be able to actually see what I was doing if I used my spatter box. I'll move these out of the road here. And I'm just going to squirt easily. And I don't care if I get little blobbies of ink here and there. That's fine. It just adds to the interest of it to me. Now I'm going to try this gambage. I think that's the way you pronounce it. I'm not sure about that. Maybe where those roses are. And then I believe I'll try just a little bit of the blues. And this is the ultramarine. I think that's the one I want. Just kind of a little bit of it here and there. There. Now, here we go. I'm going to pick my stencil up and pull my paper out. We'll look at that in just a second. And then I'm going to lay my next sheet of paper right down on top of this stencil and pick up the reverse image. And I'm just going to leave it set there for a minute and pick up the ink. Another reason that I wanted to use this Teflon mat is so that I can go back in and harvest the rest of this ink. Now, I didn't mention it before, but I do have my stencil soaking pan over here. So that's going directly in there, and that's just got a little bit of water in it and um, just a tiny little squirt of soap in there. So I'm just going to go back around the edge here and pick up a little bit more color that might have wandered off and just harvest that ink a little bit more. This is a really simple procedure to do, but now, look, you can see the difference. So this is the through the stencil, and this is the picking the ink up off the stencil. Aren't those gorgeous? I think they're just stunning, and I can't wait to make some cards out of these. Now, you probably will need to go over to the Facebook page to see the cards that I have made uh, when I get finished with these, because these are going to have to dry for a while. Let's look at that other stencil and see uh, what will come out of that. I'm going to dry my little Teflon mat off here. And if you make anything, using this technique i hope you all will post them over on the facebook page because i just am thrilled when i get to see your stuff i have seen some that you all did with the bargello technique that are fabulous and if you haven't been over to the facebook page uh, please just come on let me see what i did with that stencil now okay here's this one and i will mention this to you if you are going through the stencil, the numbers will come out in the right uh, fashion. But if you're laying your paper down on top of the stencil, if you have script or if you have numbers, they're going to be backwards. So you can either flip it over and do it on the back side, but because I want to go through first and then capture um, the reverse image of this, I'm just going to deal with that. I'm going to use the um, burnt umber on this because of the kind of gearhead uh, technique and I thought maybe it would make a nice uh, bunch of men's uh, cards and I'm going to use the yellow 
and possibly some green. I have a little green here somewhere. Here it is. Let's see. This is supposed to be lime green. Now I'm going to pick up the stencil and pull my page and try not to bleed my stencil at all. And now we're going to lay right down on top of that. And let the ink pull up into the paper. Don't rush it. There. Isn't that interesting? Now I'm going to put this over in my soaker tray. And I'm going to harvest some of those ink blobs that are out there on my mat. And that's going to be an interesting card as well, isn't it? And so what you can do with this section, or however you cut off your card, you can do your, your sentiment off of this, or you can do a strip inside, or you can take, um, like on some of these um, that I did over here, let's see, no, not that one. But this one, <clears throat> I went back and stamped the flowers off of this part here, and these as well. Now this one I went back and did stenciling on top of the sheet and I might go back uh, on this one and do the same kind of thing or that one for that matter <clears throat> and add just a little more grunge to it. Uh, yeah I think that was it but in using these kind of cut off the cut off pieces uh, so don't ever discount your um, your pickup off of your um, tray, your Teflon mat here because it adds a lot to um, a sentiment label if you have a little bit of a similar color and you're only going to get that one time. So this is Julia and I hope you like this technique and that you'll try it and come to the Facebook page and play, post what you have made and um, let me know how you like those cards and how they turned out from yesterday's sneak peek. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a great week, y'all. Bye-bye.